Hello, welcome to uh, FIFA Save Live. Thank you very much for joining me today on this day that it's been snowing outside. Yes, it has been snowing outside. It is freezing as well, guys. Freezing. Uh, and I have COVID. Uh, so, yeah, I feel great. Uh, <laughs> I feel great. My son's given me COVID. Uh, to, uh, so, yeah, guys, hit a like, hit a subscribe, because uh, I'm battling through uh, this deadly disease. No, I'm fine. I've had all my jabs, so I feel fine. Other than a bit of a headache and a bit of dizziness, I feel okay. Uh, but uh, all the same, can't go outside. Uh, so, guys, hit a like, hit a subscribe. It would mean a lot to me, but it also mean I can grow this channel. At, and if I can grow this channel, I can do stuff for you. Uh, that means I could do big uh, streams. I could do giveaways. I could do player uh, get points to you guys. I could do pack opening. I could do all sorts of crap. Uh, so, yes, guys, got big plans. Only need you to hit a like and a subscribe. Takes me a second to do so. And I want to thank everybody who has done so far. The channel's been growing, uh, and uh, I thank you all for doing that. Really do appreciate it as well. Makes me smile. Uh, right, let's have a look what we got to do today. We do have an SBC out that we're going to have a look at. We also have an 85-rated player uh, pick to do as well, uh, or a player pack, whichever one it is. Uh, Three-player pack, there you go, uh, to do as well. We're going to leave that till the end, uh, so don't let me forget, for Christ's sake. Uh, you can do, actually, two of these. I've only got enough to do one because... I was busy today. Uh, I have got done myself. Uh, this bad boy. Uh, he has uh, come to my club, and uh, uh, yeah, I just a massive Socrates fan. Anybody who's ever watched this channel, uh, especially from uh, birth, uh, it was my dream player. I absolutely loved him. I got him as an eighty-seven a long time ago, and uh, I absolutely fell in love with him since. And he's been in every uh, FIFA that I've had since. So. As soon as I saw the SBC out, it was a choice between doing that or risking it for a biscuit with the old uh, prime to, uh, moments. And uh, I've seen a lot of people get crap from that. I've seen, uh, you know, your Gary Linekers and stuff like that. I kind of don't know if I could handle doing that at the moment and getting something terrible. So I knew I'd guaranteed to like this. A little bit cheaper, 200 grand cheaper. And uh, yeah definitely worth it so there you go guys that's what i've been doing today in my busyness uh it didn't cost me very much i've still got 165 grand left which is brilliant um but yeah i've got my my one of my dream players in there uh so guys uh we're gonna have a look at what has come out i don't think anything's come out in objectives i haven't seen anything uh let's have a quick look nope uh by the way guys it looks like oh hello ramadama ding dong uh nice uh that looks lovely i like that oh i'll be doing that uh, uh lived in malaysia for many years uh i enjoyed ramadan um so yeah guys we'll be doing that and uh yeah tomorrow it sounds like we might have foot captains coming out which obviously seems to be a bit of a branch off uh heroes so yes that could be new could be exciting i've been told it's going to be absolutely mega and the reason i believe it's going to be absolutely mega is due to the fact that we're not far from tots and of course they want to suck every coin out of you before tots they want you to want those spcs they want you to do those spcs they want you to have no money left uh, so you have to put the coinage in there uh, that is totally up to you but i think that means we're going to have a good couple of weeks now uh, of uh, uh, spcs and the uh, objectives and um different uh, content that's going to be really exciting so yes uh keep with me guys i will uh, bring you the latest stuff but today's latest stuff uh, we have uh, there's nothing new in icons i don't think uh, there you go you can see socrates done uh we've got nothing else in there so we have live we have this guy to have a look at medina uh funky cold medina uh we have funky cold medina to do we obviously still have 81 packs we still have an 85 we can do at uh, uh we got that 92 prime moments that i passed on and uh yeah we have marquee matchups as well uh what marquee matchups are there uh so we have rangers versus skeltic uh we have Borussia dortmund versus leipzig we have uh, uh juventus versus uh, inter milan and barcelona versus uh seville okay so i will be doing those once we are off uh the air uh but we're going to concentrate on a medina the funky cold medina uh we are looking at him uh let's have a look at cross to start with 
So he's an 85. Whoa. Okay, that's a that's a big one to start with. And an 86. No team of the week, so that's good. Uh, you get back a prime mix player and red. That is crap. Uh, that's crap packs back, by the way. Uh, but 85 and 86, not too bad. Probably looking at about 130, maybe 160, something like that. Uh, a little bit uh, more than I would say for an 87. But do remember, he could have a plus three at some point. Uh, all they have to do is keep a clean sheet, maybe score a goal, uh, and uh, play in three games out of five. And again, he gets a nice increase. Uh, so yeah, he could be like an 89 rated defender come the end. So yeah, definitely uh, worth looking at. Uh, when it comes to these fantasy foots, uh, I like that. Uh, all the players that I kept and who I didn't put into Socrates are all live cards, and a lot of them are these fantasy foot players that I've got in. Uh, they are uh, players that you, with a plus three would look really good, even with a plus two, some of them would look really good. Uh, so let's have a look at him. He's six foot, so he's not the tallest of defenders. Uh, not the tallest. He's medium, medium. Again, that's okay. Uh, I've had lots of medium, medium defenders, so that's not too bad. He's left footed, which is nice. Uh, so again, obviously, uh, quite a lot in the uh, uh, league. Ooh, at, uh, who happen to be uh, left footed as well. Obviously, you've got Kembembe and so on. Uh, we have uh, Pace Saruni being 87, but acceleration's only 80. Hmm not sure about that 92 sprint speed though that which is really nice uh attacking we're going to move on he definitely is not going to be moving into uh, midfield by the looks of it amazing passing there guys 91 short passing that's kind of what you're looking for the vision's a little bit poor you'd like a nice through ball but he's definitely going to be able to short balls are definitely going to be able to get there long balls not so much his vision and his long passing not so good uh his dribbling uh again you've got decent balance his reactions are decent at 86 not great but decent at uh, ball controls all right 82 at uh, composure's 82 as well so that's okay uh we've got interceptions 91 love that his defensive stats by the way i can see straight away are very very good uh, so you got 91 interception i would say maybe a shadow on this just looking at him straight away you max out that uh, acceleration help that acceleration uh, become manageable uh, and again obviously max out the sprint speed as well but you'd also absolutely kill this defense uh, stats he would be brilliant uh, 91 interceptions uh, 82 heading again he is only six foot so you've got that issue with heading maybe uh, you've got defensive awareness 91 stand tackle uh stand tackle and 88 slide tackle they are very good stats uh you have 81 stamina 82 jumping uh, but you do have 90 strength and 87 aggression that is very good stats and you do have dies into tackles can be a bit of an issue when you've got good uh, we've got high aggression the only thing i would say is slide tackle is 88 so if he does dive into tackles and again that's mainly cpu rather than yourself at he will uh he will get it because he's got decent slide tackle in there anyway and long passer i don't really see how he's got long passer when he's only got 73 passing and 73 vision uh so yeah that's kind of a bit fraudulent on that front but the, what you're looking for is is a league gun, which obviously is massively popular and it looks like we've got probably league gun tax now we've gone from premier league tax to league gun tax um you've got definitely a uh, league gun player uh, he's a defender uh, he's got decent speed uh, again the 80 acceleration worries me a little bit but it's not bad he's a little bit short and six foot but he's passing his short passing is absolutely mega uh, he's gonna you're gonna be able to pass it out the back his long passing is a bit pants uh, to say the least uh, he's got poor reactions decent uh, not great ball control in fact actually i was going to say decent ball control i was going to say not good enough really uh composure is a bit low as well but uh, if you had better reactions i would say and better ball control that kind of compensates for the composure at uh, the defensive stats are absolutely brilliant uh, and again physical is decent uh, with a couple of traits yeah he's a good card uh, it depends on what he's coming in at guys uh, an 85 and an 86 with no team of the weeks uh, is decent enough uh, but he is uh, you're kind of hoping i don't know what len uh, lenses uh, rc lenses it's, it's kind of uh, form is uh, or if he's playing on a regular basis i have no idea again i don't follow at it, those teams quite as closely as maybe i should uh but uh, you kind of hope if they've done an spc of him he probably is playing most games so you probably get at least a plus one out of that maybe a plus two uh, if you get a plus one plus two obviously you're looking at an 89 rated player uh, with a potential to get to 90 
that's possibly worth at the punt guys at that puts his acceleration up a bit more at that puts his uh, reactions up a bit more his composure's up a little bit more uh, his tackling would just be pff, brilliant uh, and the rest of it obviously follows suit i would say yeah if you if you if you're rocking uh, i think i would say definitely if you've got three at the back he would be a really good left-sided third at the back uh because he's a little bit shorter but he's got that pace there and again obviously he's got that strength and aggression uh with the, the actual tackling i would say he's he would be decent to sort of add to that if you kind of got a two he might be a little bit vulnerable he might come out and uh with that medium medium and aggression he might be out of position occasionally uh, and uh, leave you a little bit open to attacks. That is my overview of the player uh, from what I know. Uh, uh, let me know down below if you do get him. I know my son is in the room next door and currently uh, plugging away at getting him done. He really likes the look of him. Uh, so uh, if he does him and uh, we have a look, I'll let you know what you think. But uh, yeah, that, if you do him down below, uh, let me know and uh, yeah, tell me what he's like. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Uh, let me do the opening. I nearly went then, didn't I? Ooh. Uh, we're going to open that pack. Uh, it's going to be... 385s absolutely guaranteed uh, but we might as well open them just so we can prove a point 87 87 that uh, nice modric 87 that's the second time today i've had modric uh oh hello we've got sigaru in the goal as well uh, we had a sigaru goalkeeper at uh, no use to me whatsoever uh but again if he gets a plus Plus three, he could be, and more likely, because obviously that's his, uh, he, he is definitely playing. That would be an 89 rated goalkeeper. Uh, that would be not bad at all. Uh, not bad at all. Six foot four, uh, solid player, long throw. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad, uh, that wouldn't be a bad pull in the end, guys. Uh, no eight fives in there. Ooh. Uh, that, that's unusual. There you go, guys. That is what I got. Hopefully, you get something. Let me know again down below what you get in your packs if you're doing these 85 pluses. I'd uh, really like to hear it. And uh, as again, I was going to say, take care of yourself as always. And if you can't, find someone who can. Bye-bye.